Hey guys, it's Will from Learnerator, and in this edition of AP Micro Mondays, we're going to be running through the difference between accounting and economic profit. So when you want to think about these profit you know, questions, you want to think about what profit means. So profit is essentially total revenue minus total costs. But there are different ways that people interpret this profit equation. And that's really where we get to this core question of what accounting profit is versus economic profit. So the way that accountants typically think about profit is by taking into consideration total revenue and then subtracting explicit costs. So this means that everything that you can actually see in terms of costs is what we will actually subtract in order to calculate our profit. However, an economist is much more in depth about the overall profit and how we calculate profit because economists take into consideration the opportunity costs that are associated with doing certain actions. In other words, the foregone costs that are included in doing a certain thing. So an economist will think about these implicit costs, which are the costs associated with, you know, not only actually doing it, but the other costs that we potentially incur as a result of our action, our choice. And so this leads to a difference when we apply it to an example. So if you're an Arrested Development fan, you might be considering opening a banana shop. So let's say that you are opening a banana shop and you know, you're thinking about you know, the potential here. So you might say that your revenue is, you might say that your revenue would be 500K a year and you might say that your explicit costs are 150k. And so a accountant would say, okay, that's great because 500k minus 150k is 350k. So clearly this banana shop is a great opportunity because this is a very profitable venture. However, an economist would say, whoa, 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 let's slow down a little bit and consider the implicit costs associated with it. So while you have a revenue figure of 500K and you have an explicit cost of 150K, there's also an implicit cost in the opportunity costs that you have had you potentially done an even higher paying job, such as studying to be a doctor. So you might be foregoing 300K if you had been, for example, a doctor. So in this case, 500 minus 150 minus 300 is actually 50K. So the economist would say, well, this banana shop opportunity really is just OK of, a, of an opportunity because you're actually only profiting an, a 50K difference. So this is the biggest difference. The economist is considering these implicit costs, whereas the accountant stops at the explicit costs. So the accountant is potentially overseeing and forgetting about a huge overall variable which is the implicit cost. And so when we think about this and when you think about you know profit in general on the AP test, there's a few things to keep in mind. If the total revenue were greater than the total cost, then we would be experiencing abnormal profits. And that's because in this situation, we are bringing in more money than we are actually spending. And so this is abnormal because what's going to happen if this is in a competitive landscape is people are going to see that you're experiencing more revenue than your actual cost and therefore you have a positive profit and as a result of this people are going to enter your space and compete with you. However, if you have a total revenue that's less than your total cost, then you might have a case in which you're incurring losses. Because what this is saying is you are spending more on a regular basis than you're actually bringing in. Okay, so then the final scenario would be in which the situation where we're making zero profit. Well, in this case, zero profit is also known as normal profit. And this is actually a very common situation for firms because what this is saying is that total revenue is equal to total cost. And while you might think intuitive, intuitively that this is not good for a business, it's actually good because in the case where total revenue were greater than total cost, there would be competitors that would enter your space. So others would enter in this case. And in the case where we're incurring losses, we would just want to leave or consider you know, ways that we can lower our price because we're taking a loss. And so it's good that we're in a zero profit situation because if we're in a perfectly competitive space or what's often known as PC or a perfectly competitive space, then we 
want to be where price equals marginal cost because if we were at a price higher than marginal cost, then we would be experiencing a abnormal profit. And if we were at a price lower than marginal cost, then we would be incurring costs, so incurring losses. And so therefore, it's good in this situation that we have zero profit. So in thinking about the difference between accounting and economic profits, you want to remember that economic profits include implicit costs. And then you want to think about these three different scenarios. Scenario one, in which we have abnormal profits, scenario two in which we're incurring losses, and then scenario three in which we have zero profit. So that pretty much covers it for this week. Tune in next week for another edition of AP Micro Mondays. For this time, I will see you guys next time.